Hey everyone, this is Wei. Thanks for checking this video out. And for this video, I'm going to be talking about the basic construction of a head. And what that is, is you know, laying down the foundation so you can draw a very uh, a decent looking head with correct perspective from different angles. Now this method was taught by the great artist Andrew Loomis. And for any kind of you know, face and figure drawing, you really have to check out uh, some of his books because you know, most artists today refer to his, uh, his style of drawing. So let me talk about his method, and I'm sure this is going to help you uh, draw better heads. Alright, so Andrew Loomis' uh, way of constructing the head starts with um, a circle, and this is basically going to be your cranium. Now from the circle, his technique is that you, you draw a line right through it as if you're slicing right, uh, cutting it in half. Now you're looking at it uh, face on right now. So this is going to give you the brow line. And then from here, um, we we'll, we'll slice it apart, you know, sideways, and this is going to give you kind of your middle of the face, right? So you cut this sphere into uh, four sections. Now from the side here, uh, you're going to chop it off. As if you you know you're cutting into the ball, and you're going to get rid of this section right here, okay? So this is going to be the side of your head. Now, where you cut it off, you know this point where it intersects this little border right here um, you bring it through here and it's going to give you this line so this is going to be where your nose is okay so you got the brow line here and then you got the nose okay now once you have this uh, these two points you take this distance and you duplicate it um, almost you know uh, doesn't have to be exact but you know close to it so you just duplicate it and you get this point here and this is going to be your chin line. So let me erase this out real quick. So from here, now, um, now you have the brow, the nose, and the chin. So this will serve as uh, kind of your placements of you know, where your, all your features are. And then if you duplicate this distance, that's going to give you the, um, your hairline. You know. So your forehead's going to be right here. So once you have these, and this is see how this is all equally spaced, right? So once you have this, now let's let's start with the chin. So you can draw the chin line coming down here. This is going to be your jaw right here, and you just connect that, and then you connect this, and that will give you um, the jaw. So from here, now you have the brow, right? Okay, now let's you start with the nose. I'm just drawing the nose right here, and I'm just kind of blocking it in, right? Just to show you, you know. Um, you know his technique and then now you have the brow line right here and then so your eyes gonna be um, right about here now for the eye um, it's usually like if your eye is this distance um, in between your uh, you know both eyes should be uh, kind of the width of your eye but we can just ignore that for now because uh, it doesn't really need to follow that rule that much so so here you have your eye and then you have your, your chin. Now, where does the mouth go? The mouth is going to be not halfway between this and this, but kind of a, a third way down from the nose. So if you have the halfway point of here, um, your lip is going to start maybe like slightly higher, you know, so maybe like somewhere right here. Okay. So this is going to be kind of your, uh, your mouth. And then from here, you know, you can just trace in where your, your lips are, right? And then that would give you the face. So, and then the hairline, um, we'll just draw something like that. Now for the ear, it's going to start right around, if you look at the, where the eye, corner of the eye, if you go straight back, that's going to be approximately where your ear is going to start, right? And then it's pretty much going to end right around there, kind of where your nose are, where your nose is. So this is going to give you the ear. So if you look at this, it's, it's very basic, um, and it works really well. Um, now, of course, I'm starting with a perfect circle, and most people cannot, you know, <laughs> we can never draw perfect circles. So let me let me quickly do it uh, freehand just to uh, show you, um, you know, how, how you would read it. All right, so let's uh, freehand this, and uh, let's go through the technique from the front view one more time. So I'm going to start with a circle. Uh, as best as I can do it, and then we'll cut across the brow line, ok, 
Okay, we're gonna cut straight down. This is gonna be half the face. We're gonna go down lower because we know we're gonna extend lower. We're gonna chop off the sides. It's gonna give us a point right around here. I'm gonna go straight in, and that's gonna give us the nose. Okay, and then we duplicate the distance, and that's gonna give us the chin line. We duplicate this distance, uh, and then we're gonna give our brow line. I mean the uh, hairline. So from here we're gonna draw the nose. Okay, I'm gonna come straight down. Here's the nose, and then here's the brow, and then we're gonna draw the eyes. Here's the other brow, and then we'll draw the other eye. And then, let's see, here's the chin. Draw the chin straight down. Now the mouth, this is halfway. We're gonna go slightly higher, so we're gonna be somewhere around here. Straight through. There's the lip, and there's the corner of the mouth. And then there's the little cheekbones, and maybe a little, uh, let's give them a little, a little more man. There's the eye, eye, then the ear right across from the eye, corner of the, the eyes. It's going to give us the ear line, come straight down. There's the ear for this one, let's see, right here. And then the hairline. Let's come down here, a little, maybe a little sideburn, come straight down. And then the head, when you got your hair, I guess you can come out a little bit. So that's the technique. It's, you can see how fast you can can do it and, it, and it's a decent looking head. Now it could be, you know, sometimes your, your head goes a little wider and stuff and that's, you know, might be because you, your, your circle wasn't all that correct. But it really doesn't matter that much because, you know, you don't want to be it's not going to be exact anyway, right? But this will give you a really good uh, quick way of just laying out your head, your, your, your head construction. That way, you know, you can, you can draw somewhat of a head in, 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 uh, in proportion, you know, so that it won't look so funny. And if you just, and if you do it without this kind of guide, um, you can check it, you know, you, let's say you just draw the head and, and then draw your own head in whatever method you use. And then try to apply this technique and see how close you actually get. And, and you might be surprised that uh, if you're not using this technique, you might be really off in, in, in your, in your uh, head construction. All right, so let's use the technique and uh, we'll do one from the side view and see how, how well this works. So again, I'm going to start out with circle again. And then from here, we cut it in half. We're going to have it facing this way now. So here's the middle line. Now from the side, if you, if you chop off the sides, you're going to get a flat area. So probably something like this. And then so we're going to get, uh, this is where, where your ear is. And then from this line here, we're going to extend it out. Well, actually, let me extend this way down first. So here, th this point here, we extend it out and that's going to give us your, your nose. Here's the brow. So we're going to duplicate the distance and it's going to give us the chin. And then we're going to duplicate going up hairline. Now from the chin here, we can con this is uh, where your jaw is, we can c connect that. So that's going to give us the, the jawline. So immediately this looks like kind of like an Iron Man, right? Kind of like a mask kind of thing, right? All right, so let's, uh, let's fill in the features. So now we have a brow. Here we can draw the brow right around here. And then the eye will be right somewhere around here. And then the nose, we're going to have it come out. Out, come back in, we do the nostrils. Now the lip, uh, again, halfway this distance and then slightly higher, so probably somewhere around here. Um, so here's your lip, I'm gonna draw this. The lip line and then the lower lip, and, your and then we have your chin coming out. Now of course there's gonna be a male. And then there's your eye, it's a little cheek. Okay, hairline, right around there. Now we go straight back, and this is gonna give us about where our ear is gonna start. Okay, it's gonna end right around here, at this point right here. And then here's our ear, and then now we could draw the hairline. You know, maybe something like this. Give him a little bit of sideburn again. Then here, 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 here. So, little chin, Adam's apple. So you can see, um, you know, this method, how, how fast you can create 
ahead and, and it looks accurate, right? I mean, of course, you know, you, you got to be able to draw in the features, but overall it's, it's, you know, just giving you that the basic construction will really help in, uh, in drawing an accurate looking head. All right, so let's do a more complicated angle, kind of like a three quarter view. So using the same technique. So here is, I'll draw the circle again, and let's have it kind of facing this way. So you have this ball, just, um, just envision, you're gonna cut it in half, and you gotta be able to do something like this, you know, following the curvature. So just imagine, you know, like a ball, you know, like a, like a kid's ball, right? They have these lines or whatever. Uh, just try to get those kind of lines. So we're gonna cut that in half, and then uh, we'll get the middle of the head. We're gonna do, we're gonna cut it somewhere like this. Okay, so we're gonna split it left and right. And sometimes it helps to draw, you know, the, the back section of it too, because this needs to be a kind of a nice oval. Okay, so from here, now we have a brow, right? And here's the middle of the face. Now, if we were to cut um, this ball, chop up the sides a little bit, you might get something like this. All right, on this side, this side. So that ball. So from here, you have this line. So we're gonna we're gonna extend this straight down. Okay, that's gonna be a middle of face. Now from here. Uh, just follow the same curvature and we're going to pick this point here and that's going to give us the nose. So from here we duplicate that. It's going to give us a chin and then we double this and it's going to give us a hairline. So from the jaw here, we're going to come straight down here um, and then to meet up with the chin and then we got to do the other side. And it actually helps to draw the back too but uh, we're not going to do that just to keep it simple. I'm just gonna go straight down. So this is kind of be like, uh, you know, like you're, again, like you're like an Iron Man mask. So from here, now, now we can draw a nose. Okay, here's the middle, and then we gotta go straight down for a nose. Here, here, that's gonna give us a nostril here, and then now we can draw the eye. There's a brow. Straight down, and then yeah. The eyes kind of probably gonna be around here. Now drawing in the features, you know, that's a whole different kind of ball game. But I'm just talking about, you know, your basic facial construction, so you can at least get the placement correct, right? And then you can work on, you know, being able to draw the correct features on there. So here we're gonna do the other eye. Let's have it just looking this way. Okay, and then here's our. We have a chin, I mean our cheeks, and then let's get to the mouth. Uh, we can go straight again. This distance here, half, slightly higher, so probably be somewhere right here. And we're gonna do that. And remember, there's a curvature here. You know, it's, it's not it's not flat like this. There's a curvature to the mouth. And so that's the middle, and then we can draw in the lips, and the lower lip, the chin. So pouch here, and then we get here, 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 and then the ear uh, from the corner of the eye, we go straight back. Well, actually, we need to get uh, imagine if you're doing a because uh, this is flat area, just 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 put an X in there, and then from here you go straight back. You know this is gonna be where your ear is gonna start, straight down, and then there you go. And then from here, you have your, uh, your hairline, and then you know we can do whatever here, your, your forehead. Okay, and then let's go straight down. Again, a little bit of sideburn so we can see where things are. And then your head, back of the head, your hair, you know, however you want it. Okay, so here, here, here. So, you know, same uh, construction and you know, from here, then you can, you know, draw in the features and, you know, make it a little bit better or whatever. But you can see, again, it works just, it's a great technique and it really works well. You know, you should definitely give this a shot. So we've done the uh, frontal side and, and the three-quarter view. Now, in order to do this well, um, the key is to be able to, you know, rough in this, this basic construction. So it starts with a circle and Let's say you know you do some really extreme angle. Let's say he's looking up, 
and then and this is actually uh, it's more difficult to do but you know with a little bit of practice you're gonna get it uh, more correct you know closer and closer to it so let's say there's a sigh here nose double chin hairline right going straight up and then you connect this and that's gonna give you so even from this angle you can see how quickly you can rub this in and that is the key and you know being able to draw this is it's it's a little bit difficult but just keep practicing you know this kind of stuff cut in half circle straight down nose double chin okay so you're basically trying to draw let's just keep drawing Iron Man here see split in half then do the size so you have this way nose double chin hairline connect now you have one well, of perspectives off but now kind of like an Iron Man mask right so practice you know doing this kind of head construction where you're almost just doing like an Iron Man mask and you're trying to visualize you know the, the spheres and how it looks like if you were to cutting those lines and to help you visualize this I modeled this head setup in 3d and rendered it from different vantage points so you can get a sense of the foreshortening and if you want to see this full image just click on the link and that'll take you to uh, my blog post where this is available so that's it for this video and uh, I hope you found this helpful and I will see you next time